Grow Smarters. It's wonderful to see you all again. We hope that you are well and that you are growing smarter with us every day. Let's look at some idioms from the 2020 practice edition of the Grow Smart newspaper. Now I know that you remember what an idiom is, but let's just remind ourselves, shall we? An idiom is a word or phrase which literally means something different from its literal meaning. Ready to, ready to get started? Let's go. Our first idiom is a dime a dozen. Now a dime is an American 10 cent coin. And way back during the 1800s, the phrase was used in its literal meaning, referring to items that really cost 10 cents for a dozen of those items. So if you wanted to buy 12 eggs, which is a dozen eggs, you would pay 10 cents for it. Now remember, 10 cents is an American dime. So therefore, a dime, a dozen. It means that it's common, something that's common. There are lots of them lying around. So street vendors are a dime a dozen in the touristy areas of the city. Our next idiom, call it a day. Call it a day. I'm tired, it's getting late. Let's call it a day to stop working on something. I think we have done enough work today. I'm feeling tired now. Let's call it a day. But please don't call it a day yet, Grow Smarters, because we still have a few more idioms to get through. Our next one is easy does it. Easy does it, slow down, relax. Easy does it like a tortoise. To make a long story short, means instead of telling the long story where people might get bored and it might take up too much of their time, we just give them a shortened version of the story. To tell something briefly, to cut a long story short, we are never going back to that restaurant again. Under the weather. Under the weather means that you are sick. I didn't go to work today as I was feeling a little bit under the weather. To go on a wild goose chase, a wild goose chase means to do something pointless because you're not going to catch that goose because they're a bit faster than what we are. But he is looking for his lost phone, but maybe on a wild goose chase. Now, to spill the beans has a very interesting origin. It comes from the elections way back in ancient Greece where each council member would vote with a white bean, which means yes, or a brown bean, which means no. And this would be a secret because they would put it in a jar and no one would, would know which way the members were voting. Unless, of course, the jar was knocked over and then the beans would spill out and then everyone could see the number of white yes votes to the brown no votes. So spill the beans would mean to give away a secret. Trust her to spill the beans. She never could keep a secret. Now it's your turn to practice at home. Tell us, what do the following idioms mean? Now, I don't want to send you on a wild goose chase. So I will tell you to study the words in the newspaper, Grow Smarters. Now, easy does it. The words are a dime a dozen. So study hard and you will definitely be able to cut the mustard. Until next time, Grow Smarters, take care and stay safe.